Understanding the health of your critical assets is key to maximizing the effectiveness and the efficiency of your operations. In today's video brought to you by Maven Asset Management, we'll explore how Maximo Health can help you achieve these objectives. Maximo Health is one of the products within IBM's Maximo application suite. So to do our exploration today, we'll present a PowerPoint and give you a feature set overview of Maximo Health and how it can help you visualize that health status of your most critical assets. And a screenshot of a dashboard where you can start to drill into the details is shown here. But as we start to look at Maximo Health, I have often find that one of the most compelling reasons to try the Maximo Health products and utilize it is because of its tight integration to Maximo Manage. As noted here, both Maximo Health and Maximo use the same Maximo database. So that same Maximo database that we're all familiar with contains the same information in Maximo Health, or there's an extension of tables, I should say, for Maximo Health. The queries are the same. So as I create a query in Maximo Manage, that's available to me in Maximo Health for my assets and locations. The formulas are the same. So Maximo formulas and the syntax is the same that I will be using in Maximo Health to create my scores. Maximo Security Group application also controls the security privileges in Maximo Health, so what access a particular user has access to. Because of this tight integration with Maximo Manage and Maximo Health, it greatly streamlines the implementation and use of the products. So we use Maximo Health when we have questions. Questions like, what assets am I going to measure? How am I going to measure the health of those assets? And once I have those measurement results, what assets need the most attention and what actions am I going to take? So if we take these questions and overlay it with Maximo Manage and Maximo Health, oftentimes we find the assets that we need to measure are defined in Maximo Manage. And in the demo that we're going to have later today, we'll highlight how we use Maximo's asset hierarchy to develop a set of assets for us to focus on. How are we going to measure the health of those assets is when we come into asset health and start looking at the scoring capabilities. And then for our last set of questions, we're going to start to utilize asset and locations in Maximo Health and also work cues to identify the assets that need the most attention and then to take those actions. So now as we focus on the three key components of Maximo Health, their scoring, asset and locations, and work cues is shown here. I should highlight that the presentation today is on Maximo Health through the 8.10 release. It does not include Maximo Health for utilities. So let's start by drilling down into the scoring features of Maximo Health. When you access scoring, it's made up of three components, the groups, the score types, and the contributors. We start with the groups, and this is where we define the set of assets that we want to create a unique set of scores on. The query that we use for these groups can be brought in from Maximo Manage, which is, again, one of those seamless integration points between the two products. We then move into score types. Score types are configurable based on the three components of health, criticality, and risk. And then we move into the contributors. The contributors is often where we spend the most amount of time in setting up these formulas or these components, I should say. The two contributor types you have are a meter and also a formula. A meter can be brought in directly from Maximo Manage, so we can define a meter in Maximo Manage. We can also use the condition monitoring points in Maximo Manage to help us define what the good and not so good limits are for a meter. And then also we have a formula, again, pulling on that same syntax that we utilize for Maximo formulas, we'll define, again, different variations or different components to measure the health of an asset. 
The second main component of Maximo Health is the assets and locations, and these are both separate tabs. From with any of these, I can set up a default view or use, excuse me, I can set up a new view or use some defaulted views to look at my assets. I'm gonna see things like my asset number, type, location, and then I'll start to see some of those important metrics, including its health and criticality. I can view my asset information in many different ways. I could look at it in the list tab as shown here. I could change to a map view if that's enabled, or in this case, I click on this icon on the far right hand side and now I see information pertaining to that list or that query and it shows me it in a very visual you know very visual enticing view I would say so it's grabbing my attention I can immediately see when I look at my health for my assets in my query that I have a few of them that are in very poor health and then I have about 76%, 77% that are in good health. So it's grabbing my attention, enabling me to consume that data very, very quickly. The last component that we have of asset health is the work queues. Again, this is helping us define which assets need attention. There's a number of queues that are configured and I can drill down into any one of those including my low health criticality score etc and from there I can see more details and these same views are also available in assets and locations but notice over here on the far right hand side this is my actions and I can also do this from my asset page but I can take an action when I see an asset that is performing very poorly maybe I need to create a work order maybe I need to create a service request or maybe I even need to create a plan that plan may be a replacement plan for the asset other things that I can do is add a flag almost like a bookmark feature so I can keep my attention on this particular asset it might be something that I wanted to monitor over a particular period of time so fantastic feature set available in Maximo Health We'll have subsequent videos and demonstrations of Maximo Health, but if you want to get started with Maximo Health today, highly recommend you sign up for IBM's 14-day trial, and the URL is right here, but if you simply Google 14-day IBM Maximo Application Suite trial or something like that, it will show up and you're able to sign up. Also, we have a few videos that are available to help you get started with the trial, because once you open up the trial, you will immediately be brought into Maximo Health. So this video that is referenced here will help you just get started with the navigation, looking at the different queries, looking at the different work plans, etc. So super exciting functionality. I hope you're all excited for Maximo Health as much as we are. And thank you very much for your time today.